Hey guys, this is Structor Craft, and welcome not necessarily to a redstone tutorial, more like a redstone thought experiment. Before I be begin, let me put a disclaimer here. I am not a professional redstoner. Uh, most of my redstone uh, I make to where it does what it needs to do. It's not pretty, so I know a lot of people can do it, do uh, this a lot better than I can. But this is a underground door, and there is a reason I say underground. Push this button, all the water goes away, and then all the water goes back. And this, all it is, is, uh, let me push this button here. All it is is an armor stand getting pushed uh, to one end and then back. But the thing is, there's Frostwalker 2 on these boots. Now I'm going to put some on, put some back on the thing. But if you don't know, if you're wearing Frostwalker boots and you move or walk next to water or on top of water, um, you will freeze the water and it will melt in the, day, uh, in the daytime or if there's a light source nearby. So if I were to take that or switch it tonight and take out the sea lantern, you would notice yeah, the red, redstone doesn't provide enough uh, stuff for it to melt. Uh, and these are water source blocks. And you notice I can't actually pick them. They're special frost blocks. Frosted ice. If I put a sea lantern down, you would see that these would then turn back into water. But take those off so I uh, don't mess up with that. But all it is. If I can hit the button. But armor stands, uh, apparently, uh, m uh, the Frostwalker enchantment af uh, applies to armor stands as well. So, this, uh, I'll show you the redstone behind it. Like I said, not pretty. All it is, I've got two buttons uh, hooked up to this line of redstone, goes up into this block. And I've got. Uh, one side unpowered, one side not. I'm going to take out this piece of redstone. Actually, one of that piece of redstone. Take out that and grab a button. Right there. You can see. Um, try to show it quickly. When I push the button, this redstone line powers. Uh, yeah, this redstone line powers pushing, extending this piston with the slime block, pushing the armor stand that way. At the same time, this line unpowers, uh, retracting this piston with the slime block on it. And so it's the, since it's a button pulse, uh, when this, uh, this line will depower and this line will power, so this piston will extend, launching it back. And the reason I have it set up like this is that no matter uh, what side uh, this way uh, the button or the uh, armor stand will always be on this side this way uh, you don't get it stuck on one side and uh, this way you can use both buttons or a button on either side and it doesn't matter uh, or what I'm trying to say is my original design had a button here and it would only power the piston above it but if the armor stand wasn't over here then it wouldn't work you'd actually have to go through the water to get to the other side and push the armor stand back this way no matter which side you're on the armor stand will always work and uh... one more disclaimer uh... Put that repeater back you do not need this repeater i just like it's kinda like a personal preference have a little bit of a delay in the pistons and I would recommend you actually putting a repeater there uh, just in case of server lag on redstone such uh, 
not on a server right now, so it doesn't really matter. But in case you hit server lag, there's that. And one more thing, why I said underground, this isn't pretty. And you want to hide all that redstone, so I'd recommend this is like a middle of the cave and stuff like that. All I do is go down, go back up, and the water, for some reason, I always thought since this, the half slab, when it comes to water, count as a full block, I thought it'd pour out, but it doesn't. Unless, unless, uh, you get water, I don't want to break my redstone, so I won't, er, let me show you. If you place water out here, you will actually, it will actually come out. Water physics are weird in Minecraft, but as soon as it, uh, the water evaporates, it'll actually go back to normal. So, anyways, the reason I said this was a thought experiment is I'm not doing a tutorial on how to build this. You can tell exactly how to build it. It's not hard. But, like I said, I'm not the best uh, person when it comes to redstone. Also, my sc screen's jittering while I'm on that sticky piston. Or slime block. But anyways, uh, I'm kind of interested to see if this video gets that was a fail. If this video gets out out there and people do stuff with it. So I'm just interested to see what we can do with the Frostwalker enchantment personally. And uh when I was toying around with this on redstone inputs and stuff, I found a bug. I'm not sure if it's been uh uh documented yet. But let's do a sticky pistons, and I'll be recording a video on that here in a minute. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like down the down below as well as a comment. Let me know uh, what you're gonna do with this. But anyways, guys, this has been Strucker Craft signing off. Adios, amigos.